The financial value of an education. There was a time when education was only a privilege of the rich. There was a time when it was illegal for lower classes or slaves to attain an education. A slave was not allowed to read because reading was a way to spread knowledge and understanding of contracts, important warnings, and opportunities. Many impoverished people would lose their land or property due to unjust business contracts or tax bills that they could not read. Today, education is legal and encouraged to everyone and every social class on the planet. But many people choose not to pursue education because they don't see the value in it or they don't have knowledge of the value of an education. Unfortunately, the largest social class that sees no value in education or the lower financial classes. And that is because God's people perish for lack of knowledge, according to Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. People perish from the lack of knowledge of the value of the work of their hands. People are actually sitting around hopeless when they have two money makers with no knowledge of how to use them properly. Instead of creating wealth, they are creating poverty, destruction, and instead of creativity, death. They just lack the knowledge of productivity. Some people say they are gifted, but gifted people are more of an anomaly rather than the norm. An example of a gifted person may be someone that plays musical instruments without reading music, or anyone that is able to invent new techniques to improve society. For example, inventing the light bulb, the cotton gin, or computers, etc. However, even a gifted person has great knowledge and are highly educated about their own talents and gifts. You can't choose to be a gifted person because gifted people are a supernatural phenomenon that cannot be learned. There are many different types of education that can be learned to increase our financial potential. You are a business and people will pay you for your knowledge, your reputation, and your skills. People will pay you because they can't do what you can do. They don't have your certifications. They don't have your license. They don't have your degrees. They don't have your skills. Don't be ashamed to work for someone because you are a business. If you decide to become a business that employs others, so be it. But until then, know that you are a business already in yourself. So represent yourself well. Our education first starts before we enter school. Our education first starts in our parents' homes and is the most important education of all from our parents or the first caregivers. We learn morals, religion, cultural values, and our example from our parents or first caregivers which will stick with us throughout our lives. Then we enter grade school and learn reading, writing, and science. We also begin to learn about the world around us. 
we learn about things from other children and what other parents and caregivers teach them because not all children come from a loving and nurturing home. Some children don't have loving, nurturing parents or caregivers, and some grow up with drugs, violence, and abuse. Then they expose other children to the same. In middle school and high school, it becomes more difficult for children to focus on education because of peer pressure and temptations of drugs, sex, criminal activity. The children that are able to stay focused and complete high school will have the best financial outcomes in adulthood. However, many children will be lost in the abyss of sin and the consequences thereof. Then our formal education begins at college or trade school with perfecting our knowledge and proving that we can complete our goals. However, our career path really started years ago in grade school. The two most common educational options are professional degrees or skilled labor educational tracks. Professional education fields may include law school, medical school, nursing school, engineering, science, and other educational degrees, etc. Skilled education may include trade school occupations such as truck driving, skilled nursing, surgical technician, police officers, x-ray technician, etc. Make sure you vet the educational program that you choose for their valid educational accreditations so that you will learn the skills you need. Don't pay for fraudulent degrees or credentials because you will be discovered on the job eventually since you will lack the knowledge that you need. Fraudulent credentials may also rack up fraud charges, so think about the consequences. Also, don't overpay for your education. Make sure you are getting the most economical price for your education as compared to state schools and community colleges. Financial aid is not always the best option for part-time students that want to work during school because financial aid has a minimum of full-time school hours which may overload a working student. So beware of that. A lot of times community colleges are very affordable. So if you want to go to community college part-time, you may consider paying cash for a class at a time if you want to work full-time. That's just an option. The easiest way to prevent drug addiction that ruins so many lives and careers is to never start drugs. You don't need to wonder what drugs feel like because everyone that uses them will tell you it feels good. What they never tell you is that that good feeling is only for a short time. Then you will spend your whole life trying to get that feeling again that will never come back while your life will crumble around you and your opportunities will dry up. So if you choose to have your best life, then just say no to drugs and stay away from people that do drugs. The most common lie that people use to solicit mind-altering drugs is the lie that it is safe and healthy and won't hurt you. Then five to ten years later, your whole life will be in shambles. The truth is these mind-altering substances go straight to your brain. 
and cause permanent damage. What does the Bible say about education? In Proverbs 16 and 16, it reads, How much better to get wisdom than gold, to get insight rather than silver. So this scripture is saying that wisdom is more valuable than money. The world will tell you the lie that money makes money, but the truth is that wisdom and hard work is the only way to make money that lasts. Even the people teaching you about easy money are working hard trying to get your money. So gain wisdom and recognize the truth. Proverbs 24 and verse 14 reads, Know also that wisdom is like honey for you. If you find it, there is a future hope for you and your hope will not be cut off. This scripture references that wisdom faithfully brings a sweet future, just like honey is faithfully sweet. And Proverbs 4, verses 6 through 7 read, Do not forsake wisdom, and she will protect you. Love her, and she will watch over you. The beginning of wisdom is this. Get wisdom, though it cost all you have. Get understanding. This scripture references that wisdom is the most valuable possession. Thank you for listening to The Financial Value of education. As my grandmother used to say, man can take everything away from you except your education. Be blessed.